Sharp. Yes. Sharp. Perfect. Top. Yes. You're sharp. Seems. It seems nice and smooth. I would just say that I would probably recommend a little bit more hydration. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try a trigger test. Yes, and that seems good. Great. So if you feel any pain, just let me let me know. So we're trying direct and consensual constriction. That's great. Yes. I like this. Mm, sharp. Yes. Sharp. Yes. And up. Yes. Top. Yes. Osculate the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Just again, bend your knee like this. Now move it like this to the side, like this, and just run it down. That's perfect. You can put it down. That's great. Hello, hey, my name is Dr. Kevas, and today I'll be doing a full body examination on you. So it will like involve me touching you directly on your skin. Is that a problem for you? No. Okay, perfect. So, I'm first going to ask you your name. So, what's your name? My name is Nikki. Okay. And what is the date of your birth? Uh, 1st of January. 1st of January. That's perfect. Okay, can you tell me what day it is today? Today is uh, Sunday. Okay. Perfect. So, um... I'm going to now measure your height. Mm -hmm. Or if you can, if you can tell me what is your height. My height is about 171 centimeter. Okay. But if you want, you can measure it too. Okay. And when is the last time when you measured your height? It's been a long time. A long time. So yeah. okay, we are going to check it. So if you can just hop on the floor mm -hmm. for me. I'm going to take yes this. Thing. It's going to be enough. So I'm just going to measure it by this. Okay, so we're going to do it the other way around. Like this. So mm -hmm. I can see all the centimeters. And that's, yes, 171. That's perfect. Can you tell me also uh, also your weight? Uh, Approximately. Yeah, it's around fifty six kilograms. Fifty six kilograms. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, do you have any medical issues or any like medical history, like any broken bones? No. no. Any operations? Like operations, like here, like this, mentals. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Does they it? took it out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. When I was eleven or something. Yeah. So that's so. that's very common actually. Mm -hmm. Um, is there like anything in your family I should be aware of? Any problems like with... no, nothing yeah. special is okay. Any struggle with mental illnesses? No. Okay. Great. So is there like anything um, that is really bothering you at this moment? It can be your hearing, your eyesight, mm -hmm. maybe itching somewhere on your skull. 
new body, like basically like really anything that you can think of? Like I think that because I have sitting job, I always sit and I feel this in my back. Yeah. That probably I need to do more sport for mm -hmm. this. That, yeah. that unfortunately I don't have time for this so much. So yeah. sometimes I have the neck aches and also mm -hmm. muscles. So yes. but nothing special. Yeah, that's usually from the mm -hmm. from the sitting, and it's really yeah. like better to just uh start to stretch out mm -hmm. a little bit or really just like strengthen the muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely, definitely, if you can, actually, I can recommend it's like really common these days mm -hmm. um, that you just have like active setup where you don't really have to sit at the work. For example, I have a desk that just like kind of lifts up and down uh -huh. and it depends whether you want to stand mm -hmm. while working or if you just want to sit. And if you just like uh, buy even a treadmill mm -hmm. that goes like uh, under the table, mm -hmm. you can even walk during working on computer, but it really depends um, on what are your possibilities. It's yeah, just an sure. option for you. Oh, yeah, I would consider this because I really need it. Like, yeah. I need to move a little bit more in yeah. my life. It's... I think that everyone really mm -hmm. needs to move a little more mm -hmm. because uh, it's really like mm -hmm. many people tend to sit a lot. Do you yeah, think? that's true. That's yeah. true. So um, I can tell already that you are in no immediate distress. You are absolutely mentally aware of what's going on. Uh, we are going to go to memory and mm -hmm. cognition assessment, which basically means I'm going to give you three words now. Mm -hmm. um, you will have to remember them for about, I don't know, approximately 30 seconds mm -hmm. to one minute. It's going to be blue, grass and car. Okay. Uh, can you repeat them for me? Blue, grass and car. Yes, perfect. So you are going to have to remember them for another 30 mm -hmm. seconds. I'm going to give you uh, questions such as, uh, can you tell me what color is the scent? Yellow. Yes. And can you tell me how much will cost uh, if you buy three t-shirts? One is for $10. Mm -hmm. How much it will cost? Uh, $30. Yeah. That's perfect. And can you tell me the three words that mm -hmm. I gave you? Blue, grass and car. Yes, perfect. So, this is great. It doesn't seem to be any problem with Alzheimer or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Do you often forget things? Like, like really, really often? Or no, 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 I, no. I am okay with this, yes. yes. Perfect. Okay. So now we are going to try, um, I'm going to have there my finger, mm -hmm. I want you to put your finger mm -hmm. on your nose and then touch my finger okay. with it. You will just go back and forth mm -hmm. and I will just move my finger. Okay. Okay, so have your, yeah, great. Perfect. Now switch hands. Mm -hmm. Great, so this seems to be fine. Now we are going to try whether you perceive things correctly. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be dull and it feels like this. Mm -hmm. Can you tell that it's dull? Yes. Yeah. And this is going to be sharper. I will have to put quite a lot of pressure so mm -hmm. that you can feel it so don't worry it will not hurt yeah. you but it's kind of scary mm -hmm. like if I do it like this but I like barely can feel it if I just do mm -hmm. this okay so I'm just going to press it like this can you tell that it's sharp yes yes okay so you can differentiate these. Mm -hmm. okay great I'm going to ask you to uh, close your eyes and I'm going to be touching you on your head mm -hmm. on your hands and on your thighs and uh shins as well mm -hmm. okay so tell me what you feel no yes sure yes no yes sure Sure. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. 
connection. It's really sucks. Uh, sure. feel that it's cold if you cannot feel that it's cold mm -hmm. just tell me we can even like switch to a different object because since it's from metal it really like picks up mm -hmm. the heat a lot so um i'm just going to touch it with it and if you don't feel it just tell me i will switch and if you don't feel it uh even the other way we'll have to do some more scanning later okay okay so just close your eyes it's cold It's warm. It's warm. Okay. Okay. Just try to be warm. Cold. Yes. Cold. Cold. Yes. Cold. Cold. Great. So we've got that. Yes. That's why I'm not going to take. Your hand. Now I'm going to turn it around and I'm just going to check your balls. Okay, now it's your neck. to look at you do some general assessment mm. I'm going to look at your skin and I'm going to ask you several questions such as is there anything um, like that is itching mm, like no okay do you have any rash sometimes I I have it because for example due to some hormones or something yep. like that yeah I have it for example, I have here something on chain, and, yeah. but sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not, depends on whether what I ate and so yeah, on. Sure, yeah. And is there like any specific type of food that really causes you to have I any think allergic sweets. reaction? Sweets. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so it's sweets. And is it like rash or is it like pimples that you have? I think it's um, I think it's more pimples, but yeah. sometimes it also can be some rash like it's actually uh, not very uh, common knowledge, but sweets and sugar especially really causes inflammations mm -hmm. in our body which also causes like mm -hmm. the acne problems but also the rashes and anything like that even yeah. like infections mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, people don't really talk about it <laughs> because they love sweets you know so yeah, uh, that's true. but really sugar is extreme problem in this society so yeah it's, yeah, it's better to like avoid it at times that you can but it's like really normal to mm -hmm. just have it a few times but I don't know a month I'm really struggling to reduce it but yeah me too like, <laughs> I'm doing this with everyone but uh yeah it's just like uh dependence on the substance mm -hmm. like anything else you know so yeah 
Um, except it's legal, of course. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, we are going to look at mm -hmm. the color. I'm just going to look at your hands first. Okay, can you turn them around mm -hmm. for me? Okay, and can you lift your hands up? Okay, so there's nothing in the armpits as well. I'm going to look at your neck. Okay, there is nothing like frozen. That's perfect. Okay, that's great. I just noticed that you have a little bit more red. Yeah. Is, is that like normal for you? Yeah, it's totally normal. It's also very dependent on the weather. On the weather, yeah. If so I'm stressed or something. Yeah, yeah. so it's mm -hmm. because it's kind of warm today? Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. Because, you know, um, the vessels just like dilate. Mm -hmm when there's like um, warm weather outside mm -hmm. so it's just normal that uh, the skin like under your or basically like the areas under your skin mm -hmm. just gets a little bit more red because there's like more uh, blood flow like, yeah that's so true so, because yeah. also I have very thin and sensitive skin and yeah everything I did or <laughs> yeah I don't know okay. so any influence or I, mm, I don't know some stress or some yeah. emotions are sure everything is on my face yeah <laughs> so you're basically an open book yeah that's, that's nice. <laughs> okay so i'm going to uh, check the color i'm going to check uh the texture seems seems nice and smooth. I would just say that I would probably recommend a little bit more hydration mm -hmm. because it seems just a little bit dry. It's not like nothing really um, that problematic, mm -hmm. but I would really recommend at least like once a week to use a lotion. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Can you have your hands like this for me, please? I'm going to try a Turkish test. Yes, and that seems good. Means that you're well hydrated. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's try your temperature. I'm just going to use the back of my hands to check the temperature. Okay, it gets a little bit colder mm -hmm. at the end. I would say that it's like mostly a phenomenon for women. It's like more often that we have like uh, poor blood so circulation in our hands. Um, yeah, but it's nothing like extreme problem. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of normal, so no worries about it. Okay. And your legs are pretty much fine. Yeah, that's good. So now I'm just going to try uh, like a cranial nerve examination, mm -hmm. which will basically involve you doing some faces. Uh, I'm, I will ask you to raise your eyebrows, like if you were really mm -hmm. surprised, just to like kind of make yeah. there the wrinkles, okay. you know. Okay, perfect. Now close your eyes and like press them really tightly. Now I'll try to open them. Great, perfect. Now if you can puff your cheeks for me like this. Perfect, I'm going to just press on them. Perfect. Now you can yeah, <laughs> release that. Then you can stick out your tongue like this. Move it from side to side. Perfect. And just open your mouth and move it from side to side like this. Perfect. Now I'm just going to palpate. DMJ, and if you can open your mouth for me and close, that's perfect. Great. I'm just going to now pop a here. Can you swallow for me? Perfect, that's great. Now I'm going to also try out the cartilage of your nose. Yes. Oh, well, perfect, and it is. I'm just going to press onto certain points mm -hmm. and you will tell me if there is like anything that is causing you any discomfort. So, 
Do you feel any pain? Great, okay. Do you feel any pain? Great. So if you feel any pain, just let me let me know. Great, no pain at all? No. Great. So we checked your lymph nodes. I said, could you just smile for me? Perfect. That's great. Now, press your teeth against each other like this. Perfect. That's great. I'm just going to look at your skull. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, look for anything that could be troublesome, mm -hmm. any lumps, bumps, flakings, rash, anything really that could be causing you any discomfort again. Okay, so I don't see any rash, any lumps or bumps. There is just a slight flaking. Which means that the skull is a little bit dry. Before you go to wash your hair, just yeah, like, it's really needed, yes. yeah, or like mm -hmm. uh, three hours prior to the washing, you just apply it like to the skin mm -hmm. and just ma massage it in, mm -hmm. and it will just help with the growth and also with the dryness of the scalp yeah. as well. My hair is my pain. Like it's also good not to wash it very very often mm -hmm. because it also causes like the irritation of the skin yeah, and the yeah, dryness. Yeah, it's the so most it's the most problem because I really wash it really often because yeah. I if I see some oily hair I really yeah. need to wash it immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's actually mm -hmm. quite quite normal. But really, yeah. I would recommend to just keep it at okay. least a little bit oily because the scalp really needs the mm -hmm. oil to like hydrate itself okay. so it's kind of like okay. kind of like necessary yeah. i know that it's not uh mm -hmm. very like um i have to say like pleasable to mm -hmm. the eye of other yeah. persons but yeah so that's great. I'm also going to look if you have there any uh, patches mm -hmm. of losing hair or anything like that. Sorry. But it seems that the hair pattern is nice. It doesn't seem that you're losing much hair. I'm also going to try. I just pull that. Yes. I'm just going to take your head. I'm just going to run my fingers through it. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Great. So it seems that you are not losing uh, like too much hair, which is great, <laughs> especially at your age. <laughs> The hair follicles also seem to be nice. There was mm -hmm. no redness, anything like um, that could be really troublesome. Yeah, so now let's just move to a eye examination. I'm going to use a light, I'm going to use a different one because this one doesn't work as it should be. So I'm just going to shine a light into mm -hmm. your eyes and I'm going to look at the constriction and dilation of the pupils. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to look if there is like anything in your eye, any redness, any yellowness or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So 
you can keep like straight ahead. We're trying direct and consensual constriction. That's great. Yes. I like this. Good. So now I'm just going to look really closely into mm -hmm. your eye. I'm going to look if there is like anything really again that would not be optimal. I'm visualizing the optic and the optic disc and everything seems to be fine. The sclera is nicely white and moisty, which is great. Okay, it's pretty fine. And visualizing the optic and the optic. Yeah, great. It's good again. The sclera is nicely white and moisty. I'm going to pull your eyes down so mm. that I can actually see the conjunctiva. Okay, it's nice. Nicely red. Or pink, basically, not mm. red. That would be kind of disturbing if it was red. Okay, do you, uh, are you aware of any problems with your eyes? No. no. Okay, I'm not even trying this. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. It works in the nice and moist, yes, so it yes. <laughs> seems good. Um, because these days it's very common to have dryness in your eyes, mm -hmm. especially because we often like look at our phones or computers and we do not blink enough actually, so it's probably a little bit Yeah, probably mm. yes. Okay, great. So, we are going to try a visual acuity. Um, I'm going to take a look. Oh, for example, this one is going to be Edgar Allan Poe. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have chosen a different one, it's really hard <laughs> to read. But if you could just read for me uh, this sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, my whole destiny pursued me as if in an excrutation. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. long, so you don't have to continue. It's like yeah. uh, for. Yes. I'm going to write a lot on it, and if you could just tell me what it is. A. Perfect. Now. C. Perfect. B. Great. Uh, y. Yes. Perfect. So it seems that even your eyesight to the distance is great. Are your peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to cover one of your eyes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be yes, yeah, right. okay, like this. And you will look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. And I will just move my fingers. And you will tell me when you feel the wiggling tips of my fingers. Mm -hmm. Of my hand, or really the wiggling uh, tips. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to cover one of my eyes as well. We are going to just look forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see the fingers you send out. Okay. 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 Perfect. No. No. Perfect. No. Great. No. Perfect. No. Okay. Now switch your arms. Mm -hmm. No. Great. No. No. Okay. No. Yes. No. Perfect. So that seems to be fine. Now we are going to try extraocular movements. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to look, oh, just look at the tip of my finger and just follow with your eyes, not with your head, just with your eyes. Okay, that's great. Uh, did you have any double vision? I'm just going to take the light again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the corneal reflection mm -hmm. and also if you have there any crescent shadow. There is no shadow. 
and the light reflection is in Rose's eyes. I'm going to look at this one again. If there is any poison shadow, and there is not. That's great. So it means that you do not have shallow interior chamber. Mm -hmm. That's great. So I think now we're going to go to a human test. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just going to take uh, my gloves or not. I'm not going to take them. Um, so I'm just going to be doing a sound um, right next to your ear and you will tell me on which side you hear it. So if you can close your eyes for me. Set. Right. Close. Mm -hmm. Left side. Right side. That's perfect. I'm just going to whisper some words into your ear and you will repeat them mm -hmm. what you hear. Okay, so what's the name? Flower. Flower. Book. Book. Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Destiny. Perfect. So the hearing it seems so far fine. Uh, do you find yourself ever struggling with your hearing? Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes yes. Okay, it's in a crowded room usually. Mm, like yeah, in public probably. places. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And I don't know for me when people or person speaks really quiet. I yeah. mean, sometimes I'm struggling to hear it, yeah. but it's due to childhood because I had some problems with ears in childhood, but it was like a very long time ago. Okay. But now it's fine, just like something, some inflammation it was. Yeah, okay, so let's just try a test. I'm mm -hmm. going to put this tuning fork like to the middle of your mm -hmm. forehead and you will tell me where you like to hear the distribution of the mm -hmm. sound. It's going to be either your left your right or in both mm -hmm. but it can also be like slightly different in your right eye and in your left okay eye your eye mm -hmm. hand mm, in both in both and is it the same mm, yeah probably yeah. is yeah great that's how it should be so mm -hmm. it's actually right i would just wanted to test it because you said you struggled as a child with hearing especially okay now i'm going to press a and tell me when it stops mm. yeah it stopped okay can you hear it now yes okay the bone conduction is actually a little bit worse mm -hmm. than like um the vibration through the air so you can still should be able Tell me when it stops. It stopped. Okay, can you hear it now? Yes, perfect. Was there any difference? No, it was the same. Okay. That's great. I'm just going to swiftly look into your ear. Mm -hmm. There is. There is a little bit over your legs. Nothing terrible. I can see the drum. It's really nice. I can even see the light reflection, mm -hmm. which is also good. But it's not like your uh, ear would be clogged with mm -hmm. glass. So let's get straight in the ear canal. Let's look in the ear. This one is definitely more clean. Again, I can see the drum and the light. Everything seems fine. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. That's better. So, what we are going to do now is actually a little bit of range of movement. Um, so, first, I'm going to try really like the range of mm -hmm. movements, how, uh, how far you can like get with your limbs mm -hmm. and then we are also going to try um, your resistance to pressure mm -hmm. 
so it means that you will have your hands like this basically for example and i will press to it and you will just try to mm -hmm. really resist me okay okay so perfect um can you spread your arms mm -hmm. like this for me Perfect. Now have your arms like this. And again, I'm going to and resist me. Perfect. Now resist me again. Great. Now have your arms like this. I'm going to be pressing. Yes. Perfect. Great. You have your hands like this. Again, I'm going to press onto it. Have your hands like this. Again, I'm going to be pressing. That's great. And can you have your arms like this? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Can you have them like behind your back, like so? Perfect. Uh, can you even like touch? Mm -hmm. Okay, and to the other side. Okay, that's nice flexibility and shoulder mobility. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, that's perfect. Okay, now we're going to try the range of movement of your head. Mm -hmm. So you are going to move it to your shoulder like this. Now to the other side. Perfect. Now to the front, to the back. And now, like if you would, mm -hmm. shake. No, that's good. Perfect. Now I'm going to be palpating your hands mm -hmm. and if there is anything hurtful, just tell me, okay? okay? So I'm just going to take your hand like this and... I'm just going to press onto your joints there's anything painful. Just trying the DRP and DRP joints. Okay, that's great. This is to be any problem. I'm just going to look even between your fingers. Okay, nothing should be. And if there is anything wrong. Painful, just hold my hands back. That's great. I'm just going to grab your hand like this mm -hmm. and I'm going to move it. If there is anything causing you any pain, great. Get the hand. I'll just again try. Great. Great. That's nice wrist mobility. Great. Now let's just take off this and. Mm -hmm. So first I'm going to uh, listen to your heart, if there is anything, yeah, that would not be normal. So I'm just going to tell you that. and strong heartbeat. Perfect. That's great. So so the heart is absolutely fine. Do you ever sometimes struggle with like heart arrhythmia that you basically yeah, like you do? Yeah. Okay. And is it very often or is no, it like no. yeah, just just happens mm -hmm. sometimes. Okay. Great. Now I'm 
going to uh, just ask you to turn around for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be listening to your uh, to your lungs. So just probably have to uh, lift your mm -hmm. head up a little bit. Right, I'm going to listen to your breathing. Okay, you can relax, I will mm -hmm. And you will just breathe deeply for me. I'm just going to uh, try really swiftly, even the sharp and all tests, mm -hmm. even on your back. Ah, okay. So if you just, yeah, can you like it? Yeah, I'm just going to move mm -hmm. your head a little bit to the side as well. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to turn you like this a little bit and sharp. I'm just going to uh, touch you on mm -hmm. certain places and tell me if it feels the same on both the sides. Okay. Does it feel the same? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here as well. Yeah. And I will just ask you to uh, have your shirt a little bit more and yeah, yeah. yeah just your shorts a little bit like that. Okay, that's great, thank you. I'm just going to say this and osculate the abdomen. Mm -hmm. to the aorta. Okay. So everything seems to be normal. Now I'm just going to be uh, broadcasting, which mm -hmm. means I'm going to be tapping on your belly and you tell me again if there is anything mm -hmm. that will be hurtful. This I'm actually also locating. Some of your organs, so it might be a little bit uncomfortable. I'm just going to be palpating uh, at first really slightly so you shouldn't feel like anything that should be bothering and then I'm going to go in the next round I'm going to go a little bit more deep. Okay. Anything painful? No. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to go a little mm -hmm. bit more deep and be a little bit more uncomfortable, okay? side to side okay. and try the range of movement. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lift it up, just keep it relaxed. Mm -hmm. And we'll be moving it like this. Throw to the other side. Great. Now here. Okay. Right to the other side. Okay. And we'll just bench your knees like this. And Just round your yes leg like this and back. Great, that's perfect. Now on the other side, or just again bend your knee like this. Now put it like this to the side, like this, and just run it down. your leg for me like this. Perfect. Now we have the one. Okay. Was there anything painful? No. Okay. I'm just going to try to move your yes like this. Dose of action also. Great. Now to this side. Anything painful? No. Here to take your pulse. That's great. Great blood flow. Perfect. Okay. I'm uh, just going to try something. That's a Lubinsky test. Mm -hmm. uh, it should not be hurtful. It's going to okay. be a little bit uncomfortable. I'm just going to run this pointed tool like along your feet okay. and it's just going to yeah. like curl a bit mm -hmm. so okay perfect that's great okay so i think that we have everything i can see anything wrong with the legs um i ask you just to withdraw um, Yes, now we'll look at the back of your knee, that seems normal. I noticed that you have a lot of bruises mm -hmm. on your legs. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, it's normal, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. normal. Okay, it happens just... Just any such touch to the yeah. people or I don't know. I know that some people are just yeah, like very sensitive yes, to yes. bruises. So I yeah. was just wondering if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. Great, perfect. Uh, so you can, I think, stand up for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I think that everything really should be normal. Um, no problems with you. I pray for you, you are in a perfect day. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely see you another time. If there is any problem, just call me and okay. it's going to be it. Okay, okay so perfect. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.